Hey, so a lot of you get into challenges. Your organization or your friends have actually thrown a challenge out there. 100 push-ups in 100 days or 20 days or whatever the challenge is, right? And you start getting into push-ups, which might, might not be the right way how you're doing it. And the reason I'm saying this is because the other day I had one of my clients who's working in uh, IT and he basically started feeling shoulder pain I think into the seventh day of his push-up challenge where he was doing 20 push-ups every day. And I'm like, can you show me how you're doing it? And he was doing it absolutely wrong. I'll show you what happened. So when he was doing the push-ups, a lot of time, all of us do it, right? While he was doing the push-up, he was going this way, throwing his elbows out, and he's going like that. And I'm like, reason you're doing that way is because you got the shoulder pain and how we fixed it first of all i was trying to get his elbow go into a 45 degree angle which was a little hard for him because what he started doing is he started going into this direction he went in and he went like this just to hold that in place so the simplest technique out there for you doing the push-up firstly find an elevated position just like a box I'm using right now. So you feel safe about it and you can do it the right way, right? Or you can use a barbell, go to a squat rack, have a good height, maybe more than the box, and we start from there. So the tip what I'm gonna give you is, you will be making sure that you're spreading your fingers so you have equal weight coming from the fingers and the palm. After that, what we're gonna do is see how I'm externally rotating my arms. So you see how this is going out so I do the external rotation on my shoulders and now I hold that position. And when as soon as I do that, I can already feel that my fingers and my palms are already in a very solid position, having a better stability on my body. Now, while I'm in this position, while I've externally rotated my arms, now if I do a push up, they are actually in place and I do not feel it on the shoulders and I'm doing it absolutely right now the next thing you remember is when you're doing a push-up you do not have to go straight under your arm should be on the shoulder so we are here so you got to move forward so now my arms are under the shoulder now you're gonna go down so a lot of time what we see is your arms are away from the shoulder and you're trying to go right in the center trying to touch your chin right in the middle where your thumbs coming in so you gotta go forward, arms directly on the shoulder, and we're gonna go down and do the push-up. This is a very solid tip. Every time when you're doing or getting to challenges right now, or in the future, make sure that you do those push-ups this way. They are tough. But the thing is, are you doing push-ups to challenge yourself in a better way? Or do you really wanna feel better and move better and do feel like you've done something without damaging or having any sort of injuries in the future. So make sure you do it, start doing it like this today.